All right, here at the National Farm Machinery Show, talking to Bill Hurley from Agco. Bill's the marketing director for North American large horsepower tractors. And uh, Bill, one of the things your your group is working on right now is uh, implementing implementation of the changes for uh, Tier Four emission standards next Correct. year. What's uh, just what do we need to be looking for? Well, I think you know, as as we look at this from a manufacturer's perspective. Uh, it's one of the most significant uh, technological challenges, I think, that, that any uh, equipment manufacturer, and, and more specifically engine manufacturer, has had to take on in a number of years. And uh, it, is, uh, it is one that I think, uh, as you look at the research and, and development dollars, uh, again, a, across the spectrum within the industry, uh, a significant portion of the expenditures that, uh, that everyone is doing today is focused on being able to meet emission standards. So what's challenging about it? I mean, what's really changing with these standards? Well, I think it's just the, the, the sheer um, volume or magnitude of what we've got to do in regards to treating the emissions such that it uh, uh, meets standards, you know, we put out clean air uh, mm -hmm. that supports, uh, supports our environment. Okay, uh, so the, you, you're talking about the changes there. What kind of changes are the farmers going to see on the equipment they're driving? Well, I think uh, you know that's going to be dependent of the type of uh, technology that a, a manufacturer decides to use to, to be able to get into compliance with Tier 4. There's really two types. Uh, from Agco's perspective, our primary focus is on uh, what we term as our E3, SCR uh, technology, and that is where we, uh, in essence, uh, outside of, of the engine, uh, inject a, a fluid into uh, the exhaust gases to, such that they disseminate the uh, uh, particulates and that type of thing where we meet the standards. The other uh, alternative there that uh, some other manufacturers are using is EGR, which is exhaust gas uh, recirculated type technology. Okay. Well, uh, fuel efficiency, I know that's something that Agco is pretty proud of with your fuel efficiency on your tractors. Absolutely. Is that going to be impacted or are we still going to see the... Uh the efficiency well, I think, there? Uh, you know, I, I think it can be, and again, I think this is going to be dependent on the, uh, the type of technology that a manufacturer uh, decides to use. With us, uh, as I mentioned, uh, we're going with our, our E3 SCR and just had some very exciting results from uh, the Nebraska OECD test results with uh, E3 technology uh, in the engines, in which uh, we, uh, frankly, uh, had the the most efficient engines that uh, that they had tested. So, uh, but there there could be again, uh, as you look uh, look at some of the other types of technology out there, uh, there are some challenges with heat dissipation and that type of thing that uh, that could have an impact, a negative impact on uh, fuel economy for some. So again, just to recap, 2011 will be the first changes we're seeing. Uh, 2011, January 2011 is when uh, manufacturers have to meet interim tier four standards. Okay. And uh, then January of 2014 is when everyone has to be at the final tier. Okay, and it may depend on where you are, whether existing tractors that you may already own might be impacted by that as well. Uh, it could be, yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, there are some different requirements uh, by state. Uh, if you were to look at some of the carb requirements in California, there could be, uh, be some, some impact there. But I think by and large, uh, uh, most all of it is going to be, you know, with uh, tractors and the date that they're manufactured. All right. All right, that's Bill Hurley with Agco. Thank you, Bill. All right. Appreciate All right. it. Yep.